Hello everyone, this is The Unspeakable at Innerscapes Art Studios. These are Amsterdam and Artist Loft paints. And I am only inspired to swipe right now. Welcome back to my channel everyone. I'm so glad you're here. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button because this is a fabulous video. <laughs> I painted this four months ago. It's part of a trilogy that I painted on May 20th. One was auctioned off for the Swipe Right auction to um, fund a food bank or people having trouble at this time. And that got auctioned off to my friend Rubster760. And the other one was a gift, which went to Rubster760 also. So this one, I love this one, and it just sat there for a really long time because it seemed unusual. And it's very fitting. We're having another heat wave. The heat just keeps coming, and I guess it's August, so it's the right time for a heat wave. Today I'm going to swipe from the middle, I think. How is everyone doing? The lockdown continues. I think it may go for two years, just like the pandemic with the Spanish flu back in 1918. So settling into this is a challenge for me, and I'm sure for many, many, many people. Some people it's not a challenge for, and it's really hard to kind of understand everyone's different situations here. And I keep reminding myself that there is a whole web and a whole stream of different experiences of this. One of the most wonderful and the best things that I've heard in a long time is that things can change in a moment. And it makes you really appreciate what you have right now because, as we've all realized, things can go away rather quickly. But at the same time, things can change and turn into a wonderment in a moment also. So for me, right now, the challenge is when I'm feeling bogged down, stuck, everything's going so slowly, it's hot here, having to pack. I go through an existential crisis in fire season every year because I pack a bag that of my most important things that I would take and I'm willing to let everything else burn. And then I have to sit down and scratch my head and go, why do I have all this stuff if I'm willing to let it burn? <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't figure that one out. It's a real problem. But anyway, it lasts for a few moments, and then, you know, sometimes, luckily yesterday a friend called, and I talked to her, and she just said, step by step, get rid of what you don't want, keep what you want, which is so simple, of course, but sometimes when you're in this emotional insanity, it's hard to think rationally. But back to the wonderment my challenge to myself and I challenge all of you like people do art challenges and all kinds of things to remember in any moment that things can change and they can change for the better as well as change for the worst and if we set up the conditions for the better the odds are easier that that might actually happen. Setting up the optimal conditions are like perceiving an optical illusion. When you look one way, you see one thing, and you switch, and you see something else. And here it is dry, and I see the beauty of this painting, and I see the beauty of all the possibilities. And it's the only work I have to do is a very little bit to switch, make that switch in the illusion of seeing what good is coming instead of all the awful possibilities. So I love this painting. I hope you do too. It's many layered. It's wonderful. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you soon.